Hey, it's the Pumpkin Man, Jamie Johnson, broadcasting you live from Midway, Utah. On this video, we're going to be talking about uh, how to uh, add a greenhouse to your giant pumpkin growing or for any type of vegetable growing, as well as how to add smart controls on the cheap. Uh, last night was the first day of summer and believe it or not it was 37 degrees last night so it's been a tough year here in the pumpkin patch this new uh, greenhouse which i finished setting up last fall as far as the outside of it all goes has made a uh, a big difference in what's been a very very challenging season we've had nights as, as uh, cool as 27 degrees uh, so far and uh, i'm going to show you some of the features that kind of helped uh, save me uh, we're probably about a week and a half-ish uh, behind this year because of the weather and so not been the, the best year so far but I think we've got a number of things put in place here that are going to be big advantages uh, to us in the future here. <clears throat> this is a, a 2005 haze plant pollinated uh, first pumpkin just yesterday and uh, we're off and running and looking forward to see what we can do. I love the, the color of these leaves and uh, I think we can get a little bit better weather going here. <clears throat> we can make up for some lost time and maybe uh, salvage this season. This uh, greenhouse is, uh, let's see, or 24 by 34 feet. So as far as available growing space, we should be able to get the plant easily to about 700 square feet by the end of the season. <clears throat> As I mentioned, I've added a, a number of different smart control features into this greenhouse, which uh, really are going to save me some time, allow me to do more and, and do things better. So in this greenhouse, I've added this smart plug here. It's an indoor outdoor uh, smart plug that's got three uh, plugs on it. So from an app, I can control this smart plug and with it, I can set things to turn on and off at uh, specific times of the day. I can also go into the app and uh, just press a button and control things within the web, or within the uh, greenhouse. The other piece I've got here is a my accurate. Oh, so I got that smart plug uh, for $28 on Amazon. Uh, this is a my accurate uh, weather uh, temperature gauge and it also shows me humidity from that app it can send me alerts so if the temperatures are getting too high too low on the app i'll get email notifications as well as uh, text notifications and notifications within uh, my phone as well so i'll know exactly what's going on all the time uh, with with the environment in here and then i can take action accordingly before i uh, even moved into the house we dug out this entire space put corrugated pipe winding back and forth uh, under the ground about two feet and to that just this last week I hooked up this inline fan so basically it's pulling air from here and then on the other end you'll see that pipe going up to the ceiling so that's pulling in the hot air that's at the ceiling of the greenhouse and then it pulls it down into the soil uh, when I ran that for the first time two days ago and I ran it longer than I, I typically will, but I was able to see a temperature increase of 12 degrees in, I think it was about five hours of time. I won't run it that often, uh, that hard and, and long uh, in the future, because I know from talking to other growers that it can burn up the, uh, the roots. But it, it's enough that particularly early season, I can get the soil warmed up and then uh, during the season I can kind of maintain uh, those temperatures to whatever degree I need to. I added this uh, CO2 generator. Oh, that inline fan um, I got off of eBay, so I recall it was about $30. I got this CO2 generator off of uh, eBay also. It was $120 and it was used, but I don't really care because it just basically has a little... It, 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 burns propane just the same way as you would in a um, outdoor grill. So with it, I turn it on at uh, 6 a.m. right at sunrise and then it turns off at 9.15. It, it gives a couple different benefits. Obviously, the addition of uh, CO2, which is maintained at about 950 parts per million, um, 
really I think has added a lot to the greenness to those leaves. But it also pumps out heat. In my environment here, I'm at about 5,600 feet, and uh, the nighttime temperatures in July are typically 54 degrees at night, and then uh, 90 degrees during the day. So at night, uh, I'm losing a lot of growth. In the morning time, the greenhouse warms up really quick, but you know, even at sunrise, I'm pumping out heat with that CO2 generator, which is really nice. Um, irrigation, I added, uh, I've used these Dan Micros for, for years and I like them, they're little spinners. So it put, sprays out a nice little uh, spray of water evenly underneath the leaf canopy. <clears throat> this is uh, all hooked in to this main line and this main line has a fertigation system. So it's basically pulling uh, fertilizer that's in that um, barrel and then it pulls and injects that fertilizer right into the main water line. So I can spoon feed on a daily basis uh, fertilizer of the plants, but also do it extremely evenly and keep it nice and controlled. Uh, that <clears throat> main line here comes in and it connects with a secondary line that comes to this, uh, it's a portable hot water heater for uh, showers, for camping. And uh, so basically there's water coming to it. It doesn't have a very high flow. So it's putting out about three gallons per minute is all. But I can heat up that water and then I inject it back into the, that main line, which then warms up that water, adds a additional warmth to the greenhouse in my cold mornings. And uh, I can get the temperature. Uh, we like I said, we've had a really cool spring, which has been really miserable. <clears throat> but I can get it up to 80 degrees by uh, 8 o'clock ish, 8:30 on a colder morning, which to me is a game changer because normally it'd be 11 o'clock um, without uh, the greenhouse and without uh, the hot water heater. So really nice deal. I got this off of eBay and. I believe it was $120, if I remember correctly. Uh, the fans are also connected to the smart plug. I've got a fan on each end. And so I can turn on the fans as I get either notifications or I check the temperatures and see that it's getting above temperature. And then those fans really move the air nicely. When I have the roll-up sides up and it's gotten to 84 degrees-ish, I can uh, uh, turn those fans on and it just whoosh, the temperature comes right down to whatever temperature I want it uh, to be. So it's, it's made it really easy to control the temperatures within 80 degrees. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens when I get more into true summer because like we haven't had an 80 degree day yet. And so I haven't had really hot, hard temperatures to deal with. We have a lot of wind here, so moving air through the greenhouse isn't typically a problem. But even on uh, still mornings like we have right now, I can take uh, that air and, and blow it right out and at least have temperatures that are similar to the outdoor temperatures. Up here in the rafters, also uh, connected to the Ratio Smart Controller, are these uh, little foggers. A stranger strolls into the sink Sipping on something, making him sloppy. And they go out um, throughout the, the roof. It's also connected to the uh, Ratio controller and from my smart app, I can uh, kick those on and off as I need to. Eventually the plan is, is I'm gonna uh, write a little script because all of these pieces that I've got all have APIs. And so I own a website uh, design firm and so I'm gonna have one of my developers write a script that says, if the temperature on um, the temperature device is above 84 degrees and the time is between 10 a.m. and 7 p.m., then kick the fans on. And it'll keep checking that temperature every five minutes and then turn the fans on and off accordingly. So I can, uh, as the environment changes, which it changes a lot here in the Rocky Mountains throughout a day, things can be constantly monitored and adjusted uh, accordingly. Um, I'm really looking forward to see what we can do next year with this. Like I said, the spring has been real challenging and a lot of these pieces I've only added within the last two weeks. And so they're just coming into play. The good news is that I've done it at the right time. 
Uh, bad news is, is it's supposed to be 33 degrees the next two nights, and so we'll see if we can keep the plants alive, and hopefully the weatherman um, didn't get it right, and it'll be a little bit warmer. In the greenhouse at night, temperatures are within a few hours after sunset, typically pretty close to what the outdoor temperatures are. So with this uh, hot water heater and with the CO2 generator, <clears throat> I uh, kick those. Uh, I'm irrigating earlier in the morning, 5 a.m., just so I can start getting those temperatures going uh, even before the sun kicks up. And then once the sun kicks up, things heat up really nicely, as I mentioned. So you may be saying to yourself, well, that's all fine in uh, Dandy Jamie for you. You've got the greenhouse. I don't have the, the means to be able to do that. Uh, my wife won't let me spend a couple thousand dollars on a greenhouse, and I totally get that. So here's the great secret. <clears throat> I paid well, essentially about $500 for this, uh, this greenhouse. The government has a program through the NRCS called the High Tunnel Initiative where you can get essentially uh, them to pay for a greenhouse of any size uh, made from most any manufacturer as long as, long as it meets their specs uh, for basically 5% of the cost. For myself, all the costs were covered except for the shipping cost. So $2,600 greenhouse, you have to fill a lot of paperwork. It takes months and months uh, for it to get reviewed and you have to be approved and it's based on the number of applicants and what your score is relative to other people's score that have applied and how much funding they have that particular year. But for myself, I found out from another uh, grower, Ralph, who I'm very grateful for, because I was complaining about the wind damage if my plants had terrible damage uh, two years ago where basically 80% of the leaves were gone uh, by the end of spring <clears throat> and he's like well you need a greenhouse I'm like well I want a greenhouse but can't afford it right now he said well I got one for free and told me about this uh, program so basically there was like three rounds of applications that you do they come out they do site checks uh, there's certain requirements you have for myself because of my high altitude I had a higher score and I think in my area almost everybody got approved uh, the year that I got approved so you have to purchase it you have to set it up uh, they come out and check it and if it meets all the specs and requirements then they uh, cut you a check within three days for whatever amount uh, you're approved for so they'll basically say you're funded for X amount you can spend more than that but that's the amount that they'll pay and once everything's uh, approved it's all taken care of so that's the greatest way in the world to do a greenhouse on the, on the cheap I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video um, if you have uh, additional questions please visit giantpumpkinman.com or and send me a note love to hear from you Whoa, he's the pumpkin man.